It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Give it gas and drive through it. <laughs> I think I think we, we we talked about this in pre-show. You guys love recirculating this picture that Daniel created. And this is supposed to be because he did. Somehow he found a picture of the hat that I had when I worked when at, Hardee's. at Hardee's. I was, I was yep. the crew leader working the drive through I mean, if you drove through the Hardee's in McDonough, Georgia, more than likely you saw me working there. <laughs> and I'll never forget that it was at Hardee's that, you know, Days of Thunder, uh-huh. Tom Cruise, yep. Robert Duvall, and others. It was they, they it was big hit movie, and that we were the big sponsor restaurant. And in that movie, which I rewatched probably in the last twelve months, <laughs> I'll never forget. Cole Trickle gets in a situation where he has this horrible car accident, and he's just not the same driver anymore. So Robert Duvall, his character tells Tom Cruise, "Hey, when you when you see the smoke, when you see the accident coming ahead of you, just." Drive through it. Just You've got to hit the and gas drive and through drive through it. And kind of, and, and if you're making an analogy, we are in that situation right now. There's definitely smoke. We're concerned. We're fearful. And you're trying to figure out. You have an investment plan. You have a dollar cost averaging plan. You have monthly 401k contributions. And you're like, do I just do I just panic and pause and stop and stand still? Because you guys, I hear you say stand still, but what does that mean for my future investments? Sure. We're saying no. If you're 20 years, if you're in your 20s, if you're in your 30s, you're in your 40s, even 50s, if you've got five years before you retire, all those systematic savings plans still need to be rocking and rolling. So keep buying equity investments. Keep buying risk on assets. It sounds like what I'm hearing you say is that if you have planned appropriately and planned correctly, when you see volatility or when you see a downturn or when you see discomfort or when you see scary things, that's not the time to be adjusting course, changing strategy, making moves, trying to figure your way out of it. All of that planning and thought and preparation should have probably happened before you got into the mess. It's just like in your race car driving analogy, it's the reason they have on the suits and the helmets. Yep. They don't try to put the helmet on while they're getting into the, into the crash. <laughs> that probably would be counterproductive. <laughs> I think it's also, we will look back in five to six years, and the, the people who made money on this – there's going to be a lot of people go, man, look how lucky that person is sure. financially. They, they, Man, it must be great that they had this opportunity to do it. I, it's just like people from the 2008 and 9 collapse were real estate. I have clients that bought rental property mm-hmm. back then that are sitting quite nicely yep. now. And you look at them and go, wow, how did they know to do that? Did they have some crystal ball, some magic tea leaves? No, guys, you just have to look at the current financial situation, see where the opportunities are, and be willing to maximize the opportunity. And a lot of people, they think about this when they look back and they go, how did they know about the financial opportunity? Guys, the opportunity is big enough to drive a truck through. This is not something that requires you to be a genius. When you see that valuations of companies, like price-to-earnings ratios of the stock market of the S&P 500, is getting down to historic lows... It gets kind of easy to see. Absolutely. We're probably getting closer to a bottom than we are to the, the to the locking in the losses that we've fallen down from. So keep buying those risk assets. And one thing that we get all the time is people say to us, oh, well, okay, I hear you say keep buying, but I don't know where the bottom is. Why don't I just wait until it gets to the bottom and then I'll start buying? Well, that's great. If you wouldn't mind sharing with us where the bottom is going to be, then we'll all just make tons of money. What actually happens is we never know exactly when that knife is going to hit the bottom. We never actually know when it's going to bottom out. So while right now today may not be the lowest point that the market's going to get to, it's still a great buying opportunity. You don't have to get it just right. If you can get close over the long term, you're going to be successful. Yeah, and that's why we're going to talk later about the importance of creating a systematic savings plan and why that way you can take the emotional part out. 